right? So we've got some right wingers trying their best, spreading sexism, bigotry, racism. I think right wing. I think right wing media is significantly more popular. I wouldn't say that like they're, uh, they're pop. Right wing media is significantly more popular. Is that true right now? I don't even know how you would measure that. Um, I feel like, I feel like, I feel like right wing media took a huge hit after Tucker Carlson had his plug pulled at Fox News. I'm pretty sure Tucker Carlson was the most popular politician, or I'm sorry, pundit in the United States, I think. And him getting pulled from Fox News, I think puts conservative media in a weird spot. The Daily Wire is still huge. Tucker still commands a decent sized audience on Twitter. And um, Steven Crowder is pretty big, but like the Blaze, OAN, Breitbart. Like, are these like, I don't know. Um, there's a, it feels like there's a lot more left-leaning media on like YouTube and stuff, I think now. It's hard to say, but um, yeah, it depends on if you count like BreadTube or anti-woke shit and red pill shit, I'm not sure. I think it'd be really hard to, yeah. Tim Pool, I don't know if I'd say, is Tim Pool right-wing? He's like some weird like alternative, you know, I wouldn't say alt-right. He's like, he's on some world on his own. He's just like, he's like a populist right guy thing. I don't know. Cause like Tim Pool will say like, I'm gonna support Donald Trump no matter what, but also I want like socialized healthcare. Temple's kind of in a weird island world. Popular because they have more uh, like genuine uh, grassroots support, but they're popular in the same exact, for the same exact material reasons as to why, uh, you know, CNN uh, cuts. Uh, Temple at an IRL event in Miami with Matt Gates. Yeah, I got invited to that, but it was just for a VIP seat. I don't, if I'm not gonna be on the show, I don't care. I wanna be with you guys. Exact material reasons as to why uh, you know, CNN uh, cuts uh, corporate propaganda, MSNBC cuts corporate propaganda, and Fox News is the most popular news broadcast. Um, they have moneyed interest backing them. I feel like, and I know people never do this, but please, okay? Because I know some of you guys watch other people, okay? Notice how, like, when I say something, I'm always trying to Google it. I'm doing this way more now um, in our post outer world. I'm trying to do this way more now. If I Google something or I say something, I try to look up the stat to show you. Don't let people just say stuff like this. Like, ask for a source. When you say CNN is corporate bought media, can you, what's like an example of a position or an article or a report that CNN did that you feel like is compromised by their backers? I hate it that people just say statements like this and a lie repeated often enough becomes the truth. Like people will just start to take it for granted. Like, oh yeah, CNN. Right? Remember when? Um, remember when? I think it was the Washington Post that Amazon bought, and everybody said that like Bezos was going to be telling, basically dictating to them like what to write, and it, it probably didn't. Like, it didn't seem that crazy at all. But like, yeah. Um, Whereas like real progressive uh, content has to revolve on in or it revolve around or if they want to be sustainable, uh, heavily rely on like subscriptions and, and- This was really important. Remember when we did that Adam and Sitch convo and I think it was Sitch that was like, yeah, I think the New York Times gave horrible coverage or something to some issue. And I like, I looked at the article, I was like, where is the horrible coverage? And then he walked it back and he's like, okay, never mind. This actually probably never happened, you know? Whoops. If they want to be sustainable, uh, heavily rely on like subscriptions and and uh, that is incredibly difficult it, wait what if they want to be sustainable uh, heavily rely on All right. like subscriptions I believe Stephen Crowder and the Daily Wire do rely on subscriptions and, and uh, that is incredibly difficult it's there's nothing as good as just like having unlimited wads of money from concentrated wealth that will give you a couple billion here a couple billion there a couple billion being given to these companies? What is CNN's revenue? CNN's total revenue from 2021 to 2022 was $1.9 billion. That's a really big number to just be giving out. Jesus. I, I, like, I, I wish we had references here. Like, what are we talking about here? An individual sponsor is giving a billion dollars to even a mainstream media conglomerate? Like, how? what, what are they getting? I don't know. I just wish... I wish that we would get more like factual connecting thing. Yeah. And that is precisely the reason why Daily Wire is fucking, you know, taking our lunch money all day, every fucking day. But Daily Wire's revenue, I'm pretty sure the majority of it comes from paid subs, doesn't it? How many paid subscriptions Daily Wire has? 
In June of 2022, co-founder Jeremy Boring said The Daily Wire had 890,000 paid subscribers. In November of 2022, Boeing stated that they had surpassed 1 million. I don't think these guys are relying on corporate donors or the military industrial complex or billionaires to fund their company. There are legitimately huge interests of, of, of people to watch this type of stuff. It took us five years to get our first 100,000 active subscribers, but we doubled down, reached higher, pushed harder, and just two and a half years later, we've 10x that number. Daily Wire subscription. I'm curious how much a Daily Wire subscription costs. They said they had a million paying subs. Oh my God, no shot. Their minimum is 960 a month. And that's if you bill annually. So what do you think their average billing is? If I'm generous, I can say 14 a month. Assuming people don't do the 16 or 20 for the all access. So that's 14 million dollars. Oh my God. And that's monthly. That's monthly. That's monthly. I was about to say, okay, so they still get a good chunk of change from external funding, but that's monthly. 1 million people. We'll just say 10 million. Um, we'll just say 10 million a month. That's 120 million in revenue. Daily wire revenue. That's like a low ball. Um, 2022 exceeded 100. So it looks like the Daily Wire is almost completely independent. That's what it feels like. Now, I could be wrong. They might still do sponsors. I think I've seen Venture Bear do sponsors. I'm sure they do do sponsors. I'm sure it's not completely, but like, I don't think I would be, I would be pretty surprised if a media company like the Daily Wire was taking direction from a sponsor. Like, we don't want you guys to cover that. Like, I can imagine, I could imagine Ben Shapiro covering something just because the sponsor says that. Like, do you think a company that is grossing nine figures, uh, what a successful company, over 10 million a month just in subscriber revenue is having its media diet prescribed to them by, like, it's possible, it could be the case, but I feel like you need to prove that. And I think right now, I would say that on a balance of probabilities, they're probably not. They're probably not taking marching orders from Lockheed Martin and Boeing and the Iraq war and f***ing, you know, whatever the f*** else you think is, is driving. Think about it this way, the Steven Crowder $50 million conversation. I am, I would say, not to toot my own horn here, but wait, what? How, but that fifty million dollar conversation—that wasn't a corporate buy. That was that was offered by the Daily Wire, that's funded by subscribers, right? Do you see how I just put together a little narrative there? Corporate people buy out conservative media. Look at Steven Crowder; he was going to get fifty million dollars, but that fifty million dollars wasn't like some weird corporate strings attached money. Also, no offense, Steven Crowder is not a guy that's probably going to take marching orders unless it's from like Black Rifle Coffee right? Crowder is not going to be taking orders from any. That's not what the populist right does. Crowder would never do that. I think Crowder would just as soon blow up the military industrial complex as he would like take, um, yeah, I don't, I don't think it happen. Dollar conversation. I am, I would say, not to toot my own horn here, but probably more popular a figure overall than Steven Crowder. There is. What? Absolutely not. I'm sorry. Hassan is very much, not to toot my own horn, but I might be more popular than Hassan now. Hassan, and I'm, I'm not even close to Crowder's level of media penetration. Um, Hassan is very much bubbled into the Twitch world, and he has a very hard time breaking out of that. For whatever reason, it seems like he has a very hard time going on to other shows, reaching outside of, like the biggest failure, I will always say this, the biggest failure of Hassan over the past two years is that an actual like giga chad, dates porn stars, fucking looks hot as lifts, blah, blah, blah. How the fuck did this guy not run through the entire red pill community and collect like 20 million new fans, right? Like, <clears throat> Destiny, why do you say you're more popular than Hassan? Uh, I think my reach is bigger on, I think it's bigger on TikTok and YouTube. And I think, um, 
And I think my shows that I do on other platforms, I think tend to outperform the shows that he does on other platforms, I think, the last time I checked. But it's probably close-ish. But Hassan seems really popular because on Twitch, his viewership is good, but I think Hassan has a really hard time reaching outside of Twitch. I think he, like, he'll go to areas that are very Twitch-centric, but he, for some reason, he just doesn't want to push out of that bubble very much. I think Hassan could be 10x more popular with minimal effort. I think Hassan could be 10 times more popular with minimal effort, but he plays it very, very, very safe. <clears throat> but that's my guess. I could be wrong, but... There is no $50 million deal coming. He has reach with Linus and H3H3. Yeah, but it's not real. You can say that he has reach with Linus. He's clouded, but he's not as popular as he should be when he's clouded. For instance, you say, like, here's a prediction I'll make. You can say I'm coping, but I know it's true. Um, his podcast with H3H3 is the lowest performing podcast on that network, I think by far. If I did a show with Ethan, that show would do more in viewership than Hassan's does, guaranteed. I know it would 100%, um, because there's so many H3H3 fans that reach out to me and tell me that that show f***ing sucks. There are so many people that complain that that show is the lowest viewership show. Um, so you can say like, oh, well, look, he's got like all this blah, 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 but it doesn't perform that well. It doesn't, it really doesn't. Um, yeah, Myth is ultra clouded, right? He gets 100 concurrent viewers, right? Hassan gets concurrent viewers. Also, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to make this like a dick wave in contest between me and Hassan, right? Like, we're both successful in our own areas. I just, I do outreach way better than he does. Um, but I, I only say that because Hassan, really, Hassan could be, um, Hassan could be 10x more popular. Be careful, you're gonna clip you're gonna look like a douchebag. I don't give a f I'm just talking numbers. Kill yourself. If it offends you to, to analyze the numbers, then f off. Why the f do I care? You can go look at the numbers on YouTube or compare them anywhere you want. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, Hassan should have been doing the red pill arc. Like, he's just, he's got the perfect, like, physiog physiognomy. Is that what they say it? He, he should have slayed so f***ing hard. Like, could you imagine Hassan on f***ing Fresh and Fit with Myron screaming? And he's like, ha 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 ha! And he's just doing his shit and he stands up like six five giga chat and just like walks the f away like hassan technically the world before him like he could have ascended to not jake paul tier but like he could have made that climb but he very much got really big in the twitch sphere and was like i'm done growing that's it boom and then he stopped right that was basically like he just he was like ah oh, it i'm done right that's why you see his like viewership is on like a hard slide over the last six months it's on a pretty hard slide over the past 365 days um his youtube channel is on a i'm pretty sure a slide as well he doesn't do as well yeah you know. but anyway i'm sorry i don't want to i'm not here to like shit on his viewership i'm just saying he could have done so much better um he's similar to vosh he just kneecapped himself because he was happy being a big fish in a medium pond when he could have been a whale in a world full of content